Hello everyone and welcome to Nettie's House with me, Squishy. And in today's video, we are going to be working on a secret underground garden thing. And I've got a few ideas because you guys have been giving some really, really good suggestions, by the way. Um, and I have a few shout outs to give uh, for people that have given me ideas. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're not really using anything off the board, I guess. I mean... Colourful, maybe, tree housing garden. I mean, it's a garden after all. But uh, yeah, so I've got really good ideas for it. And uh, the first idea is actually from uh, someone called Rebecca Gallagher. And uh, they said, like, maybe adding a wishing well would be a nice idea. And I think Nettie would really like that. I think if we're going to be doing this, like, enchanting, really cute garden, um, I think that would be really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically going to be calling it the enchanted garden. Because I just think it's going to be really cute. And uh, we're going to have, like, giant mushrooms in there and like uh, just enchanted things so the secret garden is down here so you have to be careful because it, the, the, tr the truth will come out and we don't want people to notice that there's a secret garden down here never mind okay so uh, yeah we need to go and grab I don't know what that was uh, yeah we need to go and grab some materials and we need things that just look like enchanting colors and the first enchanted color I chose is like purple I guess uh, like because it's like um, obsidian is purpley and cute and then we got this uh, glowstone as well which I think would match really nicely and uh, maybe some maybe some of this like prismarine would look quite nice as well and uh, obviously we need some mycelium because mycelium just looks really really enchanting anyway um so yeah let's just go ahead and try and uh, place down loads of this mycelium just down um on the base down here and uh, yes I know that we already like finished the garden in the last episode but that was the one ab above ground this is the below ground garden and I think it's gonna look really really cool I mean I hope the seeding is high enough because what I really want to do is grow a giant mushroom down here um, or a couple giant mushrooms I mean I is the ceiling tall enough I think I think it'll be fine. I don't think I can go up anymore. I can go down a few more, but uh, when I've placed down all of this mycelium, I don't really want to, you know, pick it all back up again. But I think it'll be fine. So uh, let's just keep going to place down all of this. And uh, sorry again, uh, sorry today if I keep messing up on my words. Just as I did just then. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those days where I just keep doing it. And yeah, so I'm sorry about that. It's just sometimes it happens, and sometimes it's worse than other days. And today is just a bad day for me and talking. So uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just go and place all of this down here and what we could do is do you like the glowstone like in the ceiling like maybe in the middle of it uh, so if we count out here so it's going three well four that way so we go one two three four and then place it down on this one and uh, then we can do like a little like kind of like a chandelier kind of like a sun I guess it looks more like a sun than a shadow. I'm gonna call it the sun anyway. So uh, I just want to go and place down um, all of this down here as well, just so it's kind of like slightly layered as well. I think that would look quite pretty. Uh, hopefully, there's no water that's gonna seep through here. I think it's okay for now. And uh, yeah, I do want to like put a river going through here as well. I think that would look really nice having like a little stream just running through here. And uh, I don't mind the dimness as well. The dimness of this room, I think it makes it look nice. Um, I do think it makes it look quite pretty. Uh, so let's just go across like this now and uh, what I want to do is just go across like this and hopefully I uh, don't block up the exit too much so uh, if I just go and break this down here then I know that that's where the exit is uh, and the entrance as well and uh, maybe like making just a mini water elevator would look good there as well uh, we'll see how it goes anyway so um, I just want to go and place down all of this obsidian here so I have been like digging out this whole area out of episode obviously um, and uh, yeah it took quite a while but it's fine. I mean, it's very easy on creative rather than digging out, uh, yeah, with just my hands in survival. So very useful to being creative for that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, let's just go and keep placing down all of this obsidian then. So I kind of want to make it like just the speckle, speckle, that, that's, that's um, like a good term for this, like a speckle around the glowstone just so it like spreads it out a little bit and makes it look quite nice um so let's just go down here maybe just go random around like this maybe one down there and it kind of reminds me of um like stars don't you think that this looks like um like just a starlight thing i think it looks really pretty um so let's just go and break this down there as well because that just didn't match then so uh let's just go one here and then just dot this around like maybe one there and just dot these around here and then we can just fill in the rest with obsidian and uh, yeah so i was thinking mushrooms toadstools obviously you know mushrooms I guess uh, just like little seating area and obviously the wishing well which I kind of want to put in the middle 
uh, purely because I think it's just like it's gonna be the main feature here so uh, if Nettie like wishes for something then hopefully it comes true I think that would be really good and the thing is I think I need to finish it in this episode because I wanted this all to be a secret uh, but, like until it was finished and because Nettie is going to see what I've been doing uh, at the end of this episode I really want it to be like pretty much complete so it looks so it's ready you know I need it to be ready for her so uh, what should I put on the seed now do you think this looks okay do you think this prismarine looks fine I think it looks okay I think it looks quite pretty actually it's very different it's very you know because it's so blue and then you got the purple as well and oh that's blue that's definitely blue as well okay it's okay we could just go and uh, place it all down here I mean what I could do is just do like an extra layer underneath it but uh, now nah, it's okay it's fine I kind of want the ceiling to be quite high anyway uh, just in case the um, yeah I, I can't grow the mushrooms too much so um, I don't know if I just broke through the ground then I might have to go and fix that so you can't see any prismarine on the surface but I really like this material I can't wait to go and get some more like in my other world because it's just so pretty it's like so much more detailed than like other ones and does this one glow I don't know if it's this one that glows or another one but there's one of them that glows and it's super pretty um, but yeah I don't think I have like any in any of my worlds so I really want to go and uh, try and get myself some so uh, that should be that all complete and look at that see this is looking cool I think she's definitely definitely gonna like this uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go and place down all this obsidian down here there we go and uh, yeah this is looking really nice I'm I'm happy with it so now what I want to do I kind of want to go and uh, layer this up a little bit uh, so if I just go like this and then maybe place down a few blocks like that uh, then it could be like I don't know just multi-layered as well um, I think it does definitely need something like that uh, so let's just go crazy with these blocks down here and maybe just a few over here as well just so it kind of like joins onto the other ones and uh, then just a few at the top like that just so it's a little bit more layered so now if I put I don't, I've never done this before, so you guys bear me up. Oh, I can use these blocks now. I forgot, like, because in the update, they allow you to use these thingies. And look, I can't wait. This is so cool. Okay, so change your plan. If I go like this and do that, that looks like a chair. And it's a, actually, no, it looks like a toilet. But it's fine. I think she'll like it. Um, okay, so if I just go and place this down like this... That looks so cool and it gets me very excited. Look at it, it looks awesome. Okay, so if I just go and leave those chairs like that, I need to make this wishing well. So how can I make a wishing well look awesome? Let's go and grab some cobblestone walls and maybe some, uh, I don't want the silverfish ones. Let's go and get some of this mossy uh, mossy brick here. And I want this to be like in the middle and there isn't really a middle. Um, I'm gonna have to like improvise with it and like maybe do a two block gap. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a one block gap. I wanna do a one block gap, so I'm gonna do that. So if I just go and place this down here and then maybe go uh, like this on the top and I might just go into yeah just go and move those out the way as well so if I just go and place this down here like that and then if I get some half slabs I think that would be a good idea uh, obviously I need the water as well I need this water uh, to go like in the bottom of the wishing well so the wishing well can go like that um, actually no if I clog that up with glowstone then you can see in it as well um, and then uh, let's go and get some let's get some trapdoors because I always use trapdoors I use them way too much uh, but it's all fun. Um, so let's just go and grab this uh, these slabs as well. So I need this to look like a well. Maybe stairs would look better. Um, what colour stairs though? Let's try. Should we try some nether brick stairs? I think we should try some nether brick stairs. I'm going to give them a chance. Like I always like feel weird about using nether materials. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know if anyone else gets this. But like I really want to use them. But to me, because they're from the nether, they just it just seems like, oh, I don't want to use it because it just seems like scary to use it. That makes no sense. But it's true. Like, that's that's how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, I do use it because it's like, you know, a different material. And I love using different materials. So uh, I'm going to use a hopper now. It sounds weird, but I am going to use a hopper uh, to put like on the bottom of this because I want it to look like a bucket. So uh, maybe if I go like that, there we go. 
No? Okay, like, let's go and place down, like, one more like I did before. Uh, but I, like, stopped it because it was, like, joining up to the other one. So, uh, let's just go and place this down. So, I need to go and crouch. There we go. And, uh, hopefully I can just go get rid of that one there. There we go. Uh, that was easier to do that way. And, uh, yeah, let's just go and get our bucket of water as well. And I think this is looking nice. I'm, I'm happy with this already. So, um, I do need to go and place down this water. No! No, don't do this, please. Please don't do this. Okay, uh, let's just go and place this water down here instead then. And uh, then we can go and clog that up. And I think this looks like a very really enchanting wishing well. I think this works. I mean... I'm annoyed at that not being very symmetrical, but I might try and change that. Let's go and change that now because it's going to annoy me otherwise. So, um... If I just go and grab this uh, prisma and just fill this all in like that. And uh, then I need to go and grab my glowstone quickly. And uh, just go and fill in these gaps here as well. And uh, hopefully it all adds up okay. I really hope that this actually looks okay. And there we go. It does. It looks fine. It looks fine. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And I might go and add a few more of these like twinkly lights just around here. And maybe one there as well. Look at this. This is looking good. Okay. So now what I want to do, I want to add another one of those chairs. Because the chairs just look really cute. Uh, so let's just go and place down all of this here and then just go, hmm, where's, where's my other mushroom gone? Where has my other mushroom gone? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I like, I really like this mushroom. So if I just go and place this down like that, then that looks like a chair, I guess. And uh, now what I want to do, I really want to go and grab just random mushrooms and just plant them. <laughs> Hopefully this works. So yeah, I really wanted to try and use bone meal on the ground as well. Bit of a random thing to try, but I wanted to try it out anyway because I just think, you know, why not? Let's just go for it. Uh, let's go and get some leaves as well going on. Maybe some vines. I really want to add some more water as well. Maybe add a lily pad. And uh, where are the mushrooms then? Can I actually... Oh, there they are. They're right in front of me, silly Billy. Uh, let's just go and see if we can grow things. So uh, if I go and place down this mushroom here... Can I grow this? Um, I, I don't think I have enough space. So uh, I'm just going to go and plant these around everywhere instead. And uh, maybe put the pond in the corner here would look quite nice. So uh, let's just go and break away all of this here. And uh, hopefully this is going to look okay. I really hope it does. I think it will. Um, I, I don't see why it wouldn't. So uh, let's just go and break away this as well. And then what we need to do is make like a nice little like... Let's make a nice little waterfall in the corner. There we go. See how pretty that is? That works. And uh, let's just go and add like all this water down here as well. Um, I might as well go and go uh, throw this glowstone in there as well. And uh, yeah, so, and also I was thinking about like the other themes. Okay, so basically, um, if you don't know how Nettie's house works, basically N Nettie gives us like, uh, like gives me uh, likes and things uh, that she really wants for her house to have. And I try and put incorporate it in into the build that I do for her and she's doing the same for me um, so yeah like who knows how it's gonna end up um, and yeah some of some of the uh, ones that we've given each other are quite difficult so I've given I've given her advanced redstone and she has given me um, like note block song so those are like really hard both of them are to do with redstone I love that uh, so yeah hopefully we can both uh, do that quite well um, I pretty I'm pretty sure she can like look up any advanced redstone and it'll be easy and I think I'll be okay on the note block song I'll just give it a go I'll probably just watch a tutorial and see how that goes uh, but like yeah I just love how silly that is um, and yeah I think it's just gonna be really really good fun so uh, I'm also gonna go and add a few vines around here because I think that just makes it look a bit more detailed too uh, so let's just go go crazy with these vines and uh, let's just go with these mushrooms as well so we need to add these mushrooms here and uh, also the brown ones so I'm just gonna go and throw these around absolutely everywhere and what I might do I might do um like a little gravel pathway like I did on the on the floor above us. Well, I call it the floor. It's the garden that's above us. Uh, yeah, I kind of added. Oh no, I forgot the leaves. I didn't add the leaves. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so I added like a uh, gravel um on the floor. So hopefully we can use that. Where, where's the gravel? Where's gravel? Gravel's right there. I was just blind. Okay, so if I use this gravel and also let's go use. I like jungle leaves. Uh, where are the jungle? Yeah, because I think jungle leaves are so different to other leaves. Like. All the other leaves, to me, just look exactly the same. But yeah, the, the jungle leaves are more, like, packed 
together if you have a look um, and they're just like different textured um, so I think I like I like them a lot I do like jungle leaves so uh, let's just go and throw these down here and then we can add our little gravel pathway so um, I'm pretty much just gonna go and dot this gravel around on the floor uh, just so it's nice and scattered around and I think that looks makes it just look so much more detailed and cuter and this is working this is looking like a wishing well wish wishing well room and see that's so hard to say um so yeah this is where Nettie is gonna make all of her wishes and you know what I think this is pretty much done this is actually like from how it started to what we've become this is pretty cool I'm pretty proud of myself so uh, what I might do is if I add a chest um, in like underneath the the wishing well like well inside the wishing well then she can like write books I guess so let's just go and grab a few books if we can where are the books these are enchantment books I suppose we could use enchantment books um, so let's just go and grab this so if I get like loads of books and quills uh, just here oh no you can like throw them into the hopper does that work wait if I go like that you have to throw them into the air and then they land in the hopper. This is amazing. Okay, but I do think we need to add like a chest somewhere. So let's just go and add this chest down here. Um, I'm also going to go and add some of the uh, some of the mycelium like behind it because I think it makes it look better. And oh no, I forgot the gravel falls. That was silly. Um, let's just go and place down this mushroom again as well. So she can go and grab a book and then write her little message in there and then just throw it into the hopper because you can do that. And if you just like throw it into the air, it will actually go into the hopper okay so we've done it we've made our wishing well room with chairs a waterfall a wishing well and books and uh, yeah let's go see how netty likes it <laughs> Okay, so Nettie is here spinning around in a circle again with her head on backwards, just <laughs> like normal Nettie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's actually so fun. I love it when you do that. I think it's because, like, you look, your skin just looks really fluffy as well. So you just look so tiny just doing that. And it's just super funny. <laughs> that, yeah, your ears are so cute. Okay. How are you, Nettie? I'm good. How are you? Good. Yeah. I'm good now. Thank you. Oh, I Ooh. have something to show. Whoa. Calm down. All right. I'm just so excited to see what you've been doing. Oh, obviously, I can see that. <laughs> okay, so if you come through here, we're gonna go back into the garden, and I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you to try and find what I've done today. Oh gosh. Yeah, go on. Off you go. Um, it's like okay. it's like an Easter egg hunt, isn't it? Off you go. Yeah. Okay. Go and have a good oh, look around. Oh, if it's gonna be a secret door again, and I'm gonna be look really silly. Go on, you can find it. You can. Is it the sheep? No. Is I it didn't the just, horse? I, seriously, Nettie, for the whole episode, what I've done is I've put a sheep down. There's some water down here. It's annoying me. <laughs> Have I found it? No. I don't know where you're going. I have no idea where you're I've, going. Okay, I've come gone on. into the tree. Come here, Nettie. Come on. It looked Follow like me. it was like a secret place. It was like up the vine. Where have you gone? <laughs> See my gamer tag? Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh hello! <laughs> Not this again. Okay. <laughs> go go down there. Go down there. Oh 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 oh! Now there. this is see. Wow! This Do is amazing. Like it? So it's got a little wishing well in here with the hopper. This is so cool. And what you can do, there's a chest down here with books and quills in, so you can write Ooh. down your wish in here and then throw it into the hopper so you have to like throw it into the air here and That's then it will so like cool. sit in the hopper like if you like right click well not right click left click on the hopper you'll see it like the book will be inside it so that's yeah. so cool it's just like a little secret and there's like mushroom chairs and a little waterfall and how that's weird is that that we both use mushroom today I know, I actually thought that. Like, <laughs> then, then, uh, if you go and see uh, Nettie's, uh, what she's done for me, she's actually made like mushrooms and stuff and like dotted them around. And I was like trying to like hold my, my tongue. I was just like, ah, really nice, Nettie. <laughs> Very That's original. so weird. <laughs> we must have both been having like mushroomy thoughts. Yeah, we had mushroomy thoughts. Very, very good example. So, do you like it? I love it. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you want to go and check out Netty G, there is a link in the description. And also, there is going to be a link to the next episode when it's online. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>